Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Commit yourself to him, the excellent God. His ways are excellent. His word is excellent. His grace is excellent. His spirit is excellent spirit. Ah, worship you, Lord. Thank you to be in your presence. We honor the Lord, we bless the Lord, we worship Him. Mm. Thank you. Worship you, Father. Thank you for teaching us wisdom. Introducing to us wisdom. Manifesting to us wisdom. Mm. We praise the Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Almighty Father, we are grateful for the Bible study of this day. God, we are requesting that you will give us, you will impart upon us your wisdom. The Lord by wisdom made the earth. We pray you will give us the intelligence of God, practicable, in the lives of men. I worship you, God, and bless you. The young, the old, the men, the women need your wisdom. The preacher needs your wisdom. Father, give us wisdom. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. You can be seated. What is wisdom? What is wisdom? Our topic it's a question. We have had so much of wisdom. What is it? In fact, the Bible itself is a book of wisdom. Yes. Which means to answer the question, what is wisdom, is not a thing we can exhaust. Because in another aspect, Jesus calls himself wisdom. I, wisdom, dwell with knowledge and find out, I, wisdom, Dwell with prudence and find out the knowledge of witty inventions. Wisdom speaks, that is wisdom personified. But wisdom in Ma, what is it? In Proverbs chapter 4. Verse 1 to verse 13. Proverbs chapter 4. Verse 1 to verse 13. Hear ye children the instruction of a father 
and attain to know understanding. For I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. Solomon wants to tell us something vital for our lives in this world. Something principal to be in ourselves, in our character, to employ in our relationship and living. So, he is speaking to us as children. He's telling us that he's giving us good doctrine, good saying. We should pay attention to him. Now, he received these from his father, King David. For I was my father's son, on tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. The tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. I was well loved as the only beloved of my mother. He taught me, my father taught me also and said unto me, let thine heart retain my ways. Keep my commandments and live. My father taught me this. David the king taught me this. So when you saw that David, Solomon got wisdom, it came from the instruction and counsel of his father. As the father was bringing him up, Having been told that he was going to be king, the father gave attention to him, giving him vital instructions. And the most vital instruction was that he should get wisdom. It was relevant for his government, for his life, for his service to God and to man. For his righteous walk. He taught me also and said unto me, Let thine hand retain my thy heart, retain my weight, keep my commandments, and live. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Forget it not. Neither decline from the weights of my mouth. Wisdom. Understanding, he, called, he meant them to be the same. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing. The principal, most valuable, the leading virtue. In human relationship, administration, as a leader, as a king, as a ruler. Wisdom is the most important thing, is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Don't run after money as you should run after understanding don't labor too much for anything as to labor for understanding for wisdom the queen of Sheba took a long distance traveling for several days I don't know whether months to, to arrive at where King Solomon was. What for? To hear his wisdom. To acquire wisdom. The wisdom of a human ruler. Because she too was a queen. So with all they get, with all strength, it means 
labor to hear the man of wisdom the weights of wisdom labor to read the books of wisdom listen to the tips of wisdom labor so you can have wisdom forsake her not and she shall preserve thee love her and she shall keep thee wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom and with all thy getting get understanding exalt her and she shall promote thee and she shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her she shall give to thine head an ornament of grace she shall beautify your head with grace a crown of glory shall she deliver to thee hear O oh my son and receive my sayings and the years of thy life shall be many when thou goest thy steps shall not be straightened and when thou runnest thou shalt not stumble let's read verse 13 together one two go Take first hold of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life. Wisdom, instruction, the word of God is your life. I'm going to attempt to define wisdom. But I say, the Bible itself is the book of wisdom. The whole Bible. So, how can one exhaust the knowledge of wisdom, the meaning of wisdom? But let's go. Wisdom. Is the ability to think right thought and apply right thought to work and situations of life. Ability to think right thought and apply that thought to work, the work you do, and to situations of life. It goes with thinking. It comes from the heart. It comes from thoughts. It comes from reasoning. It comes from the inspiration of the heart. It comes from the enlightening of the mind. It is an impartation. Number two, it is the right use of knowledge and understanding gained in a situation. The right use. After you have, you have gained some knowledge and you have reasoned on what you have had information received you have pondered on the information received that which comes from the information to turn information to turn understanding to usefulness in human life and human situation 
you have arrived at wisdom. That's wisdom. Turning the raw materials of information. Manufactured in the CPU of understanding into finished product of consumable goods. That is the power of wisdom. That is the power of wisdom. Raw materials of information, knowledge, processed in the central processing unit, understanding, bringing out the finished product for human consumption, wisdom. To bring out this so that they become finished product and you wonder, is it what comes from this knowledge received, information gained? You're wondering at the work of wisdom. Get wisdom. You will turn many things into usefulness. You will be useful and make people useful. You will know how to use idle things discarded things you will know how to gather them again into precious substance for human surprise for human consumption number three it is the intelligence that enhances inventions and cre creativity wisdom is the intelligence that enhances inventions and creativity. The world by wisdom, God by wisdom made the world. God by wisdom made the world. Is inherent power of creativity. Wisdom. Ability to manufacture that which does not exist. Wisdom. The quality of God. Wisdom is that virtue produced in the godly by the Spirit of God to guide and direct him in his way. That virtue produced by the Spirit of God in man that directs him and shows him the way of life, he follows. He follows successfully. Wisdom is a virtue. Number five, wisdom is the mind of God given to a man, specially called for divine service. To make him do it perfectly, successfully, and satisfactorily. The mind of God given to a man specially called for divine service. To make him do it perfectly, successfully, and satisfactorily. That's wisdom. Now let's go to scriptures. Exodus chapter 28 verse 3. Exodus chapter 28 verse 3. The Bible says, and and Thou shalt speak unto, unto all that are wise-hearted, whom I have filled with the spirit of wisdom, that they may make Aaron's garments to consecrate him, that he may minister unto me in the priest's office. The garment, according to its specification, is complex. 
It's not easy. It will take the wise hearted, the wisdom of the God of heaven, that will make somebody make that garment. Yes. Verse chapter 31, verse 1 to 6. Exodus 31, 1 to 6. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, See, I have called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah, and I have filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge and in all manner of workmanship to devise cunning works to work in gold and in silver and in brass and in cutting of stones to set them and in craving of timber to walk in all manner of workmanship. And I, behold, I have given with him Aholiab, the son of Ahisamak, of the tribe of Dan. And in the hearts of all that are wise hearted, I have put wisdom that they may make all that I have commanded thee. I want you to take note of I have put wisdom. I have given wisdom. That's God. This wisdom comes from God. It's not as much from human learning. Human learning can give it some wisdom, but not comparable to this one that God, God imparts. God gives. So you see here, see I have called by name Basileel, a man I have chosen, and I've given him wisdom. How can this be done? The wisdom of God will produce it. How can we manufacture this? The wisdom of God in the man can manufacture it. So, which means in all your professions, whatever you do, to do that thing better, ask for wisdom. Ask for wisdom. The Lord will give you wisdom. And by it, the difficult area of, my, of your work shall be done easily. Doctors, medical doctors, can do some construction in human being. If there is a blockade somewhere, they know how to carry the tube, maybe the intestines or whatever, to, put, to protrude in another place and cause the person to live. Constructive wisdom. God can give him a in the carpentry work, in the mechanic work, any kind of work, even in a farmer, it is this wisdom God gives to man that has blessed the field of medicine, the field of agriculture, the field of, sci of various sciences. Is this wisdom? How do I do it? I think I heard of a man that wanted and the understanding of a molecule in chemistry. How does it look like? Something like that. And it, he couldn't arrive at it. It was given to him in a dream of the night. That which is not in the, among men, in the land of the living, because it is required to improve human being. And there was a man that was asking for it. God gave it to him in a dream. Wisdom. Ask for it. In every field. 
God is operating in wisdom. In these days that human hearts have been hardened by Satan, hardened by the television, hardened by various worldliness, even by the government, God uses wisdom, gives wisdom to cause the preaching of his word to still win souls. He that winneth souls is wise. Wisdom. That's what the Bible tells you. Get wisdom. In chapter 35, verse 25 and 26. Exodus 35. 25 and 26. And all the women that were wise hearted did spin with their hands and brought that which they had spun, both of blue and of purple and of scarlet and of fine linen. And all the women whose hearts steered them up in wisdom spun God's hair. How did you arrive at this? Wisdom was given to me. How were you able to do this work? We are wondering. Wisdom was given to me. God gave me wisdom. All this work you are doing in the recording, in the media, in the electronics, whatever you do there, ask wisdom. You will do it well. You will prefer solution to the difficulty the church has been passing through. Oh Lord divine, raise up wise preachers that will overcome all the hidden works of darkness which the devil does among me. Preachers that will bring light to them, expose them and get the people there converted. Is wisdom. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. In all thy getting, get understanding. You will be useful. All this idleness. You sit home at home doing nothing. Ask for wisdom. You will turn sand into something that will give value to life. God will give you the wisdom. God will give you the wisdom. Yes. Again, look at it in verse 30 to 31 of Exodus chapter 35. And Moses said unto the children of Israel, See, the Lord had called by name Basalel, the son of Uriah, the son of her of the tribe of Judah, and he had filled him with the spirit of God in wisdom, in understanding, in, and in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship. Don't strive. It is a calling. And there are grades of these gifts and impartation. There are ranks of these gifts and impartation by God. The percentage he gives this may not be the same thing with the one he will give the other person. As for Basileel, I have called him by name. Now, get this fact from here. We see specialized wisdom. We are seeing here specialized wisdom. What is the wisdom of Basileel? Is it the wisdom to preach? No. When it comes to preaching, Basileel will sit under Moses and listen to the wisdom of preaching from Moses. But if it comes to construction of the utensils of the temples, of the substances of the temples, Moses will sit under Basileel and watch wonders. Specialized wisdom, which means 
Not one person is given all round wisdom. It's only God that possesses that. But he gives us wisdom in the specific areas of our calling. So that we should prevail. We should succeed in that area. And areas of our calling are various. They're divers. They're divers. So that, so that in all way round, you will be walking around and seeing the wonders of God. As this one is doing his own, you say, wonderful, how did you do this? As that other one is doing his own, wonderful, how did you arrive at this? You go to where the other person is preaching, marvelous. How did you get the scriptures? How did you remember them? You go to this dreamer, is telling, narrating his dream. For one hour, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you're telling dream. Marvelous. Everybody, according to the field of his calling. Therefore, get wisdom in your field. Get wisdom in your area of calling and surprise humanity by what you will achieve for our living God. Yes. Now, there's something still to expound on wisdom in chapter 36 of Exodus verse 1 and 2. Exodus 36 Verse 1 and 2. Then wrote Bazaliel and Aholiab, and every wise hearted man, in whom the Lord put wisdom and understanding, to know how to walk all manner of work for the service of the sanctuary, according to all that the Lord commanded. And Moses called Bazaliel and Aholiab, and every wise hearted man. In whose heart the Lord had put wisdom. Even everyone whose heart steered him up to come unto the walk, to come unto the walk, to do it. Yes. Every, every wise hearted man. That is where you can know the wisdom of God versus the wisdom of man. The wisdom of God, of God knows no bound. The wisdom of man has limitation. The wisdom of, God, of, of, of man comes to a level the man doesn't know the next thing to do except by divine intervention. But here it says, then wrote Basileel and a holy upon every wise hearted man in whom the Lord put wisdom and understanding to know how to walk. To know how. Where human wisdom stops because he does not know how anymore. Divine wisdom takes over and control and continues because you will know how. Ask God. To help you know how. Ask God. To help you. So that you will know how to do it. Where man stops. You will not stop. Because God has given you that power to know how to do it. Amen. Again. Wisdom. Is the virtue. The righteous derives from the fear of God and obedience to his commandments. Wisdom is the virtue that the righteous derives from the fear of God and obedience to his commandments. One, you get wisdom from obeying the word of God. 
to wisdom inside you makes you to obey the word of God. You get it. You get wisdom from obeying the word of God. Wisdom inside you. All these people who are sleeping, get them behind there. Let some coordinators stand up and do all sharing themselves. Yes, you get wisdom by obeying the word of God. It's the reward of obedience. Wisdom is the reward of obedience. Yes, wisdom inspires you to obedience. Now, understand more. It is the heart of the righteous. It is in the heart of the righteous as light shining within him for all to see and as light brightening his path to keep him from stumbling. Wisdom is shining in you. The wisdom of obedience. It is shining in you as light shining in darkness. It is seen in you as a person outside sees the light shining in a room. Wisdom is a bright light on your path. Showing you how to live, how to move, how to walk, and never stumble. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 5 and verse 6. The Bible says, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments even as the Lord my God commanded me that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it keep therefore and do them for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations which shall hear all these statutes and say surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. He says, it will be wisdom for you to keep the word of God. When you keep the word of God, the people surrounding will say, this is a wise and understanding man. This is a wise and understanding man. If you keep the word of God, you will get wisdom. And people will see wisdom in your life and commend it. Wisdom. People will see wisdom in your life. Now, a woman in your workplace was tested to have HIV, AIDS. And this woman started playing freely around you for immorality. Even telling you he wouldn't mind you taking her out. She was actually available. And this is a precious woman. Clean, beautiful. Glorious after the body, after the flesh. But because of God, you say, I will not stain my Christianity. I will not bring my Christianity to a stop because of the beauty of this woman. Because she says she's available, I will not do it. So all effort made on you, you said no. Now, 
Remember, when you said no, you didn't know of her status, that she was HIV positive. You didn't know. You just refused for fear of God. It was later that you came to know when the woman died two years after of HIV AIDS. So, eh? Wonderful. So this woman wanted to carry me. Eh? Can you now see? Tango! I refused. And the woman also will be testifying to others. That man is a wise man. What is your wisdom? The keeping of the commandment of God. That is your wisdom. Other, what other things did you do? You didn't have any other information. It was because of obedience to the word of God that you didn't take her out. And that obedience to the word of God happened now to be your wisdom that has kept you from this sickness. Can you see? That's what Moses said. Keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom. Many disasters that come upon man because of sin, will, you will not have them when you keep the word of God. That is wisdom. The devil brings many things on the way of the righteous. There are many snares on the way of the righteous to catch them or in the area of money in the area of this in the area of that many snares he lays them but there's none that is without sin the snares are there because they lead you to tell lies please after a time you can still sit down they lead you to tell lies they lead you to evil association. They lead you to for, forceful promise and so on. But you notice the sin inside this thing. Although they have reward, they have money attached, you notice the sins that you must commit before this one will happen. You must commit this sin before you get the employment. You must commit this sin before you get the job. You must commit this thing before you get the promotion. You must commit this thing before you get the money. And because of God, you refuse to commit anything. You say, no, I can't do that. I, have, I forfeited that money because I won't sin. I will not tell lies. That is your wisdom. The devil will say, that is your wisdom. That is your wisdom. Witches and wizards that have set various traps on you. Hey. I told you of the children. They brought them to me and they were saying anytime we wanted to go out for witchcraft we steered our mother into anger by that her spirit will be weak the presence of god around her will be weak the presence of the lord in the house will be weak then we can fly out in the night but suppose you are that woman all the effort the children do to make you angry, you are just laughing. <laughs> All the effort. A child just went and kicked down some water, kicked down water on the ground. He wants you to be angry. So, oh, what happened? I kicked down this water. Oh, how? My leg kicked it down. Okay, keep your leg well and eh? don't uh, make sure your leg is not kicking down water. You, you hear what I'm saying now? He turned this way, you are peaceful. He said, my mother is too wise. That is it. Just that practice of righteousness is your wisdom. Before these unbelievers who have done many things to provoke you, but they could not get you provoked. They needed your provocation so that they can do something. They can have their mind. They can have their freedom. They can bring in what they, what they have planned. It didn't work. Huh? 
Your husband wants to bring an, another woman. So how do we do it? He planned with another woman that, listen, I will be slapping her. Every day will beat her. Every day will beat her. She will, I, I, know my, I know her. She will run away from the house. And uh, you, she beats you. You turn the second cheek. Beat this one too. He slapped this. It's okay. Tomorrow he comes, he beats, he turns the second cheek. Slap, okay. Tomorrow he comes, he slaps, he turns the second. This woman, I can't get her. She's too wise. By keeping the word of God. That's why Moses said, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments. Even as the Lord my God commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom and understanding in the sight of the nations which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Righteousness is your wisdom. All this foolish language you are speaking is the reason why you are suffering many things from people. Stop speaking those foolish language. Be patient with people. Even when they abuse you, that will be your wisdom. That will be your wisdom. Yes. All the godly and righteous are wise relatively towards evil, Satan, evil men, dead and hell. Number three, okay, the, the next one. Wisdom is the ability to think clear through by the enablement of God. Think clear through. <laughs> Everybody say, think clear through. The prodigal son, when he couldn't find the foot of pigs, he went and sat down. I am imagining a tree that he sat under. How was it when I was at home? I was not even the one cooking food. They were cooking for us. The servants would knock at my door and say, food is ready. <sighs> now, no food. For all this time, no food. I have used all my intelligence. I said, okay, let me go and join let me go and get employment, even to a degrading employment to feed pigs. I know if the people saw me feeding pigs from my place, they will laugh me to scorn. But I wanted to eat. I'm dying. But eventually now, I couldn't get even the foot of pigs. Hi. I will go back home. I'll go back to the father. I know my father. I know how he has been dealing with us. I know how he loves me. I'll go back to him. I'll go and apologize. That is wisdom. If he did not come to that point, he would have perished. That was his survival. Ability to think clear through. That is how to get solution. That's wisdom. That is wisdom. By the enablement of God, it is the grace God gives to man to say, or oh, do. Yes, to know how and what to do. How to do it and when to say or do it in a given circumstance. The grace God gives to man to say or to do. To know how to say or do. What to say or do. When to say or do it in a given circumstance. Wisdom. Wisdom. How do I address this man? I say, why? You should know. It's not every time you rush to your husband to make a request. 
Wisdom is the ability to discern the time. To see how. Yes. The ability to know the time. Some will, will use, when friends are around the husband, the husband is an angry man, but the husband loves self-respect. So when people are around her, is then she'll come and say, you know, daddy, we need money to do this and to do this. How the man will be angry, he doesn't know how because his friends are around. And he doesn't know how, he didn't want to show his friends that he's an angry man. How much do you say the money is? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Wisdom tells us how to do it. <laughs> when to do it. It's a calculation. It is thinking clear through. Arriving at how you can bring solution to the matter. Wisdom. Yes. Wisdom is what makes a man provide solution to a given problem. It is what makes a man, makes a person provide solution to a given problem. Look at it. The Bible tells us In 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 6, verse 5 and 6. 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 5 and verse 6. It goes, Moreover, thou knowest also what Job, um, Joab, the son of Zeruiah, did to me. And what he did to the two captains of the host of Israel, unto Abner, the son of Na, and unto Amasa, the son of Jetha, whom he slew, and shed the blood of war in peace, and put the blood of war upon his guidel that was about his loins, and in his shoes that were on his feet. Do therefore according to thy wisdom, and let not his whole head go down to the grave in peace. Do therefore according to thy wisdom. You know how to handle this man. So that the word of God will be fulfilled in his life. He thought he overcame me. Since I couldn't do it. But fulfill that word of God over his life. He killed those people not by war. He that shed blood, his blood also shall be shed. Since he committed that evil, he has not received the reward of it. I'm supposed to have given it to him. Opportunity didn't offer me. Therefore, do it. I know your wisdom. You see, wisdom knows how to handle it. It knows, it knows what to do, how to do it, what time to do it. Wisdom knows. That's wisdom. Yes. In 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 16 to 28, we shall read it later. Wisdom in the godly is both power and virtue that makes him overcome sin. Satan, death, and hell. <laughs> Wisdom in the godly is both power and virtue. That makes a person victorious. The temptations that come, he knows how to overcome them. Whoever is rising up to fight him, he knows how to handle that person. He knows. Money is power. Wisdom 
is power but wisdom is more excellent than money the power of wisdom is greater than money than the power of money how to overcome evil wisdom will tell you in job 28 verse 28 the book of job 28 verse 28 the bible says and unto man he said behold the fear of the lord that is wisdom and to depart from evil is understanding can we say it together unto man he said behold the fear of the lord that is wisdom say it and to depart from evil is understanding god gave joseph a dream that he would be great in the future he would be greater than his brethren that his mother his father would lead by him would get sustenance through him he told his brethren satan was there hearing him and satan mean to frustrate that vision of god satan is trying his best to make sure they don't get fulfilled in my life when i was writing this book uh, divine revelation and scriptural exposition on believers holiness including and adorning I said, this thing I am writing, Satan wants to do his best to come and make me tomorrow to go against this thing I am writing so that I won't believe them anymore. I say, I am aware. I am aware. Hmm. Is it not Satan? Many of these people that the Lord took to heaven and to hell, go and check which one is there, which one is alive and doing this thing well. Which one is still maintaining this testimony? He has turned them all, many of them, to abuse Jesus. So we know that this is what Satan wants to do to cause backsliding. Satan! Simon! Simon! Satan has, desi has desired to have you, to sift you as wheat. Get all this out of you, chiefest of the apostles. Get it out of your life. So he wanted to get it out of Joseph's life. But when the brethren got him, he didn't want to show he has power. I will, before you kill me, I will kill too. No. As a sheep before is dumb, so he opened not his mouth. He laid him as a sheep to the slaughter. He opened not his mouth until they cast him into the pit. Thank God, God preserved him. And God assisted. They brought him to the, from there. They sold him to... I'm saying Satan wants you to move out of the course so that the promises of God will not get fulfilled in your life that which god desires should not happen they they sold him to potiphar yeah he submitted to potiphar satan came through potiphar's wife as history will say that she was the most beautiful woman in egypt and joseph too was the most beautiful young man somehow as it is according to history in a way who can tell the details and she wanted joseph she fixed her eyes on joseph was she was it for the body to remove joseph from the vision of the lord 
That's the whole end. The most beautiful woman is holding to you free. Joseph said, I cannot do this wickedness and sin against God. She grabbed him in his cloth. He removed the cloth and ran away. Yes. That was his wisdom to reach the crown, to reach the throne, to wear the crown. They sent him to prison. He remained there. Brother, do it like this. Whatever is it, don't give up righteousness. You're going somewhere. God has set a future, my sister. Don't lose marriage. You will lose the future. Wisdom. Wisdom. That will deliver you from evil. Will make you wiser than your enemies. Look at it in Proverbs chapter 15. Verse 24. Proverbs 15. Verse 24. The way of life is above to the wise. That he may depart from hell beneath. The way of life is above to the wise. The wise that is walking in divine commandment is above hell. It's above the devil. It's above evil. It's above death. For righteousness delivered from death. Your righteousness is a great wisdom. In the place where you're living. Great wisdom. That you have kept yourself from sin. You have not gone the way of young men. You have not offered yourself to all those men. You are living with your sisters. You are living with your sister. Married sister and her husband. The husband has not been able to get you. You have not offered your body to him. With all the persuasion, it is for your good. Otherwise, your future will be decayed. You'll be valueless in the future. They'll look at you as a woman of sorrow. Who will marry her? I'm telling you, righteousness is wisdom. Godliness is wisdom. Holiness. It's your wisdom. It delivers. It gives you victory. In Psalm 119 verse 98. Psalm 119. Verse 98. The Bible says. Thou get me. You by my keep. The, your commandments are always with me. I don't give them up. I don't forget them. They are the medicine that preserves me. They are my paracetamol, your commandments, that drives cold out of my body. They drive away my enemies. They frustrate my enemies. Because I keep your commandment. That is my wisdom. I'm above my enemies. The value of wisdom. What is wisdom? That which delivers you from death. Which gives you victory over your enemy. Who keeps you away from hell. Is wisdom. Yes. Wisdom is the ability to behave, speak, and interact sweetly among men to their satisfaction, delight. Wisdom is the ability to behave, speak, and interact sweetly among men 
to their satisfaction, delight, amassment, and commendation. Hey, this is a wise person. Hey, I like hearing him. I like hearing that preacher. I like, in fact, I like hearing that man. I like hearing that woman. It's intelligent. That is the thing in you that is making people like, wondering. They are a man. Where do you get this thing from? How do you speak so eloquently? How do you do this? You, you, you meet the target. You satisfy my scratching ear. It is like a nail that fastened rightly your weight. I like that. Wisdom. Wisdom. What to do, what not to do. Wisdom makes a leader know how to inspire, control, or direct human behaviors appropriately. Wisdom. Get a wise leader. The people will rejoice. Get a wise preacher. The people will be satisfied. I'm telling you wisdom. In four, verse 29 to 34, the Bible says, And God gave Solomon wisdom and understanding exceeding much and largeness of heart, even as the sun that is, in, is on the seashore. And Solomon's wisdom excelled the wisdom of all the children of the east country, and all the wisdom of Egypt excelled because it, gave, it came from God. More than, these are human wisdom. People, are, the people enjoy human wisdom, but you enjoy the divine more. Because it's pure wisdom, pure honey, not mixed with sugar. Yeah, Solomon's wisdom excelled the wisdom of all the children of the East Country and all the wisdom of Egypt. For he was, say amen. amen. He was wiser than all men. Say amen. amen. He was wiser than all men. Say amen. amen. God can give a man wisdom above the wisdom of all men on the earth. And that man can be a human being. Point hand at yourself, whether you are the man. Let everybody be pointing hand on himself, including myself. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Exactly. And his fame was in all nations run about. And he spake 3,000 proverbs. And his songs were a speak of trees from the cedar tree that is in the uh, that is and of fowl and of creeping things and of fishes. And there came of all people to hear the wisdom of Solomon for all kings of the earth, which had heart of I mean from I mean Solomon sees a thing, he will say something connecting that thing. You will wonder, hey. How did you connect this sentence with this? If Solomon sees an ant moving on the road, um, on, on the ground, on the floor, the way he will bring understanding from this ant, you will just wonder, Solomon, nothing but God gave you this with understanding and wisdom. He spoke of his soul. If, if Solomon sees birds flying in the air, the story he will bring from those birds, facts of life, that he will bring out from just those birds flying over there, you will wonder, this is fantastic. People came from everywhere to hear the wisdom of Solomon. I say wisdom is that which makes your utterance sweet, nice, decorated, Virtues. Virtues. 
so that everybody is interested to hear from you. Yes. In chapter 10 of 1 Kings verse 1 to 9. 1 Kings chapter 10 verse 1 to verse 9. Concerning the name of the Lord, she came to prove him with hard questions. And she came to Jerusalem with a very great train. With camels and bears and uh, that bear spices and very much gold and precious stones and when he, and when she was come to solomon she communed with him with him of all that was in her heart and solomon told her all her questions there was not anything hid from the king which he told her not and when the queen of sheba had seen all solomon's wisdom and the house that he had built and the meat of his table and the sitting of his servants, and the attendance of his ministers, and their apparel, and his cupbearers, and his ascent by which he went up unto the house of the Lord. There was no more spirit in her. Can we tell what she said in verse 6? One to go. And she said to the king, It was a true report that I had in my own land of thy art and of thy wisdom let's continue how be it i believe not the words until i came and mine eyes had seen it and behold the half was not told me thy wisdom and prosperity exceeded the fame which i had let's continue servants which stand continually before thee, and that hear thy wisdom. Verse 9, Blessed be the Lord thy God, which delighted in thee, to set thee on the throne of Israel, because the Lord loved Israel forever. Therefore made he thee king, to do judgment and justice. Give a clap offering to Jesus. The power of, the wis of wisdom, the grace of wisdom, the sweetness of wisdom, the delight of wisdom. Make his ways delicious. Make his presence pleasant. Wisdom is the principal thing. Get wisdom. In all thy getting, get understanding. Wisdom will make you get at the right scripture. Using the scriptures at the appropriate time. Wisdom will give you the meaning of those scriptures. Applying them to situations exactly like Saul put into soup. Not too much, not, too, not, not above, not less, but exactly giving the soup the right test. Wisdom. Everybody say it. Say it again. Say the tata. God is the giver of wisdom. Hey, I'm telling you, God is the giver of wisdom. He gives wisdom freely to those who seek for it to honor him and to do his will. He preserves wisdom for the righteous. Look at it. In James chapter 1, verse 5. James chapter 1, verse 5. The Bible tells us, saying, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that give it to all men liberally and abraded not, and it shall be given him. This can be yours today. I say this can be yours today. Husband, I pray that your wife will carry enough wisdom from here for you. You will look at your wife with surprise. The woman that you are saying is a fool. You are a foolish woman. You, are, you will see wisdom shining in her face. Amen? Wives, you know you have been accusing your husband that even his colleagues are doing better than him. Your husband will do better than those unbelieving colleagues. By the wisdom of God, wisdom will transform you. 
Wisdom will turn you into another man. Wisdom will add to your excellency in life. The Lord giveth wisdom. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 2, verse 1 to verse 11. Proverbs, chapter 2, verse 1. My son, if thou wilt receive my weights and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom and apply thine heart to understanding. Yeah. If thou criest after knowledge and lifted up thy voice for understanding, if thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her as for hid treasures, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord gives them out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. He laid up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. He keepeth the paths of judgment and preserveth the way of his sins. Let's read verse 9, 10, and 11. One, two, go. Then shall thou understand righteousness and judgment and equity yeah every good part when wisdom entered into thine heart and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul yes discretion shall preserve thee understanding shall keep thee can you see to be holy you need wisdom to overcome temptation up above the evil not to go to hell you need wisdom and it is the wisdom of the world it's the wisdom that God gives pray for it ask in all your discipline secular discipline Christian discipline in all your profession secular profession Christian profession in all seek wisdom he is the God that created the secular world he is the God of the spiritual world the church world the Christian world he is the God that calls to ministry he is the God that the God that calls to the throne you will prosper by wisdom ask for wisdom ask for it for solomon ask for it solomon ask for wisdom and got his first kings chapter 3 verse 3 to verse 14 first kings chapter 3 verse 3 to 14 and solomon loved the lord walking in the statutes of david his father only he sacrificed and burned incense in high places and the king went to gibeon to sacrifice there for there was the great high place for that was the great high place a thousand bond offerings the solomon offer upon the altar in gibeon the lord appeared to solomon in a dream by night and god said ask what i shall give thee and solomon said thou hast shot unto thy servant david my father great mercy according to according as he walked before thee in truth and in righteousness and in uprightness of heart with thee and thou hast kept for him this great kindness that thou hast given him a son to sit on his throne as it is this day and now O lord my god thou hast made thy servant king instead of david my father and i am but a little child i knew not how to go out or come in and thy servant is in the midst of thy people which thou hast chosen a great people that cannot be numbered nor counted for multitude verse 9 everybody want to go Reply is coming god was moved in heaven may god be moved in heaven towards you today may your throne of grace and the speech pleased the lord that solomon had asked this thing and god said unto him because thou hast asked this thing 
and has not asked for thy soul long life, neither has asked riches for thy soul, nor has asked the life of thine enemies, but has asked for thy soul understanding to design judgment. Behold, I have done according to thy words. Lo, I have given thee a wise and an understanding heart, so that there was none like thee before thee, neither after thee shall any arise like unto thee. And I have also given thee that which thou hast not asked, but riches and honor, so that there shall not be any among the kings like unto thee all thy days. And if thou wilt walk in my ways to keep my statutes and my commandments as thy father David did, then I will lengthen thy days. Wisdom. It was this request that made Solomon the man you heard of. It was this request that gave history a man whose reputation shall never be forgotten until Christ comes. This request, you have enough time to pray it. I say you have enough time to pray. To get it. Pray, go and pray. Pray, keep on praying with all your prayer. Pray for wisdom. Pray for understanding. It's going to transform things. Your mind will think high. Your mind will think bitter. Your mind will think excellently. The thoughts of God shall be blowing in your heart. And you will get at it. You, you will be the solution. You will be the solution of human beings. You will be the solution of your family. Your own problems will be solved automatic by the wisdom of God given unto your life. I end up by saying the wisdom of God is different from the wisdom of the world which is defiled and corrupt. The wisdom of God is pure, clean, and promotes righteousness and holiness. In the book of James chapter 3, James chapter 3, verse 13 to 18. James chapter 3, verse 13 to 18. Yes, the Bible says, who is a wise man and endued with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. <laughs> wisdom is humble. Wisdom is not arrogant. Wisdom is not bragging. Wisdom is humble. There was a problem in a city and in that city, a great king came against it for war to destroy that city. And there was in that city a poor but wise man. He was full of wisdom. And this man, by his wisdom, delivered the city. Then I took it and understood. I said, wisdom is more than weapons of war. Yet a poor man's wisdom is despised because of meekness, humility. When wisdom came personified, did they recognize him as the ancient wisdom, the creator of heaven and the earth? Did they recognize Jesus? Did they not say, is he not the carpenter's son? Did they know that this is God that created the world by his wisdom? Then we should understand wisdom is humble. It's not proud. It's not rough. It's not bragging itself. No. Who then is a wise a wise man endued with knowledge among you? Let him show it of out of a good conversation, his works of wisdom with meekness, with meekness, meekness of wisdom. But if ye have bitter envying and strife in your hearts, glory not and lie not against the truth. This wisdom descended not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. 
if it is that you use your body to get that job, if it is that you use bribery, money to get that contract, if it is that you tell lies, don't say you are wise. That's devilish lies. That's devilish, evil, framing of lies and deceit. The Bible says, yes, for where envying and strife is, there's confusion and every evil work. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable. The next thing, gentle. Again, and easy to be entreated, to be approached. Full of mercy and good fruits. Without partiality and without hypocrisy. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. This wisdom is a fruit of righteousness. In you, it comes out of the fear of the Lord. Yes, and it, it brings peace of life and makes peace before, among men. Now, I pray God will give you wisdom. Ask for wisdom for your children. David had told Solomon of wisdom. Even before God came to tell him, ask of what? you need. He said, deal with your wisdom. Use your wisdom. Because wisdom, I mean, knowledge is sweet to him that has understanding. Give counsel to a wise wisdom is sweet. So Solomon needed more. Please lead your children in the way of wisdom. Lead your wife in the way of wisdom. Plead with your family, to, your husband, to follow the path of wisdom. Let the church be filled with the wisdom of God. It will produce righteous fruit. Wisdom will bring right, about righteous fruits in the church. May God pour wisdom upon the church. May God pour wisdom upon your life. May God pour wisdom upon your family. May God fill the leaders of the, the leaders, the, the leaders of holiness revival movement, pastors and teachers. May God fill them with wisdom, 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 that this work can be done more easily. We will carry people clean and holy to heaven. Stand up and ask for wisdom is the principal thing. Wisdom is the principal thing. To make your life beautiful, get wisdom. To be beautiful before men, get wisdom. And in all your getting, get understanding. Ask for it. Ask for it, wisdom. You will know how to talk with your husband. You will know how to remove that anger that is troubling the family. Ask for it, wisdom. It will teach you how to convert people to Christ. Wisdom is the principal thing. It will give you victory over Satan. It will know, make you know how to preserve your life until that day.
Jesus' name we pray. He is everything. Jesus is everything to me. He is my wisdom, my knowledge, my every understanding. He is everything to me. He is everything. Jesus is everything to me. He is everything. Jesus is everything to me. He is my wisdom, my knowledge, my every understanding. He is everything to me. He is my wisdom, my knowledge, my every understanding. He's everything to me. He's everything. He's everything. He's my wisdom. Is my wisdom. Now, Jesus is everything. Give your life to him. Settle with him. Tell him you want to serve him. He should forgive your sins. He should change your life. It should take away iniquity from your life. You want to serve him. Jesus, your wisdom, let him make you righteous. Let him make you to serve him. Jesus' name we pray. Do you want wisdom? Tell God you want wisdom in your life. He has called you to do something. You need wisdom to do it well. You want wisdom to work for God, to live for God, to serve your God. Tell him you want wisdom. You want wisdom to be a to be a blessing to mankind. Tell him you want wisdom. Jesus name we pray. Let's raise up our hands to God. A ha hands of petition, hands of request. We want to be better for him. We want to serve him better. 
and wisdom is required. In Jesus' name, we pray. Who is this sitting down? Rise up. Raise up your hand to God. You are looking for something from him. Almighty Father, we worship you. Divine, what an open heaven for us today. To cause us to know what is essential for our lives. Oh Lord, your children have heart. And faith has risen up in them. Like the woman of Samaria. Give me this water also. Therefore, Father, give us wisdom. Give us wisdom to serve you better. To live better for you. To fulfill your will. In Jesus' name. Oh Lord, you have called us in various fields. You want us to perform. You want us to excel. Children to excel in school. Students to excel. Oh Lord, I am praying. Lay the wisdom to make them excel. Be given to our children, to those in school, in Jesus' name. Wisdom of righteousness. Oh Lord, we are praying. Wisdom of holiness. Of victory over Satan. Victory over sin. Victory over death. Victory over hellfire. Give it to us in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, we are praying. We have various professions. Preaching, teaching, pastoring, and all in the house of God. Oh Lord, various professions in the secular. You have met some administrators. You have met some to occupy one position or the other. Father, they need wisdom to do well. They need wisdom to lead your people. Give it in Jesus' name. My every understanding is everything to I say it's everything. It's everything. It's my wisdom, my knowledge, my every understanding. It's everything to me. Amen. Please, can we package our offerings now to give unto the Lord? Package your offerings.